Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, kindly click the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. So guys, for today, I'll be showing you guys how to make this lovely kimono. Okay, so to start the tutorial, we'll be needing the following items. We need your fabric, you need your scissors, you need your tape, you need your chalk as usual. Okay, so the first thing to do is to place your fabric on fold. As you can see in the picture, the kimono is equal to together kimono. So we are going to be using the shoulder to where you want the sleeve to stop for the measurement. You're going to place your shoulder measurement for this video. My shoulder to where I want, wanted the sleeve to stop was 20 inches. So I just placed 20 inches to get the shoulder then you slant it by two take your shoulder slanting by two then for the sleeve i'm picking 11 inches for the sleeve it's a kimono you can take any how you want depending on how big you want the sleeve to be yeah so the next thing now i'm gonna do is to take the full length of my dress and the full length of my kimono is actually 35 inches i'm going to add just one inches for the bending that is 36 inch for a total So after marking the full length of my dress, the next thing I'm going to do is to mark my bust point. My bust point is 10 inches, but I took it down to 11 inches. So I'm marking 11 inches as my bust point. After marking that 11 inches as my bust point, I'm going to place my bust measurement. My round bust is 38 divided by 4 should be around 8 and a half inches. So I place my brown bust measurement on my nipple point and add an extra 4 inches. That's um, 2 inches extra after dividing my bust and the other 2 inches for the allowance. Just like what I'm doing in the video right now. So after placing your bust measurement, the next thing you're going to do is to connect your sleeve to meet your bust measurement. Just like what I'm doing in the video, connect it to meet the points you've marked, yes. Then you come up with one inch to make the slanting very neat, yes, to give it that curve. After doing that, you can just take your chalk and mark it down, but if you want a perfect marking, also place the same measurement you use for your bust down on your dress length where you want your dress to stop mark the exact measurement and then take it off to meet your sleeve just like what it's in the video right now yeah After doing all my basic marking, what I'm going to do next is to mark the neck for this dress. Now for the neck of this kimono, I'm using a depth of, this is the back of the kimono actually, so I'm using a depth of 2 inch, inches, yeah, 2 inches for the depth and then for the width, I'm using 3 inches. For the width of the kimono this because this is the back of the kimono i don't want it to um very deep if you get what i'm saying so after marking that i'm just going to join it together to form a cuff you know how the neck cuff is so that's how i'm going to join it to form the neck cuff yeah the neck of yeah that round shape after marking that 
I'm going to go straight to cutting out my pattern from the fabric. So I'm done marking the back side with fabric. What I'm going to do now is to take the back, place it on my remaining fabric to mark out the front side of this kimono as well. Like what I'm doing in the video. I'm going to take the back, place it to get the same shape for the front. Everything the same. So for the front neck, you're also going to use what you cut for the back to cut for the front. After doing that, that's to get this round shape for the front. After doing that, you're going to mark 14 inches from the um, neck, from the neck, yes, from the neck, the neck um, width 14 inches and then you slant it down to where you've marked from the neck width to form a V shape at the front to get the front neck just like what I'm doing in the video you mark 14 inches from the neck width down yes and then you slant it after slanting it you use your scissors to cut it down After cutting the neck, we are going to move straight to joining the fabric together. Now you are going to take one piece of the front, place it right side facing right side and then what you are going to do is you are going to stitch the shoulder together. You are going to take it to your sewing machine and join the shoulder together for both sides. After joining both shoulders together, this is what it's going to look like. The next thing we're going to do is to move to the sleeve. Now for this process, if you do not want to do what I am doing, you can easily just open your fabric and bend your sleeve like the normal sleeve bending. But in this video what i'm doing is that i want to attach another fabric to the sleeve the same fabric though but i want it to look like a shirt um sleeve so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to 
measure the length of the sleeve and i had about 18 inches so i'm going to cut out the fabric that is about 18 inches yeah just like what i'm doing in this video i'm going to place it the wrong side facing wrong side a hair like this take my um kimono place it on top and then fold it again yeah watch closely you see what i'm doing it's very easy i'm trying to get a short hand what i'm going to do now is to pin it and take it to the sewing machine to sew it So this is what the sleeve should look like after sewing so you can see it's definitely giving me that shirt um sleeve i wanted now what you're going to do now is to go ahead to join the body of this kimono together all together and i'm joining with about one inch i'm just going to sew everything down after joining this kimono together this is what it looks like as you can see our kimono is almost ready to wear so what we are going to do now is to go ahead to form the neck rope for this kimono and for the neck rope for this kimono what i'm going to do is to measure i'm going to take my tape and i'm going to measure round this kimono the measurement i get i'm going to cut it out on my fabric so after getting my measurement for the neck rope and cutting it out what we are going to do now is to place it on our fabric now to pin the neck rope to the fabric what we're going to do is to fold the um, clothes into two and mark out the um, middle of the kimono when you mark out the middle of the kimono, you're also going to mark out the middle of the rope just like what I'm doing. You're going to place the middle of the rope with the middle of the kimono together and you're going to pin it to avoid mistakes just like what I'm doing in the video. When you pin it from the middle, you just follow it and pin it all around like that. After pinning it to get that shape, then you take it to your sewing machine to sew it all down, following the way you pinned it. done sewing it all around we're going to move to bending the down and to bend the down side of this kimono you're just going to fold about half an inch twice just like you normally bend every other cloth to do so yeah you're going to bend it the same way and then you sew it all around like that So guys, this is the end product of our kimono. It's very beautiful and I know you love it. Thank you so much once again for watching today's video. I love you.